A beautiful day here in sunny South Florida. I haven't seen my neighbor Rose in a couple of days because I've been filming videos. And I know how much you guys love seeing her in videos. So I'm gonna stop on by. I dropped her off a water filter two days ago. Just wanna see if she likes it. And a bunch of you have asked about the refrigerator. So we're gonna take a look at that as well. How you doing? Hey, stranger. What have you been up to? Wow, look at that refrigerator, guys. There it is. The second one that arrived with no dents. You happy with it? I like it. I love and you know, it. it's actually nice to come over your house and have no distress calls about something being broken. So it's really nice. I just like to say that first. First of all, I want to thank you for this. I never had one. You're welcome. And um, that's a good job. Well, it's better than having to lug all yeah. this water that you're lugging all the time. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Why would you do that? So I figured you're better off with that. Uh, nice for fridge. Douglas, What's the uh, problem? There's no light in the freezer. I don't have a light. Oh, come on. There's... A brand new refrigerator made in 2021 with no light in the freezer? I they all, I put... Wait a second. Let's see. This one has it. So look, yeah. right down here's a switch. Okay. All right, so this, if this actually has a light, there'll be a switch. And there's, there's not. Nothing. You know what this means? That means this model that you purchased starts with the letter C for cheap. Oh, hey, I don't care. <laughs> I like it. All right, you have to deal with it. I got it. I got it. What is that smell? It's disgusting. Oh, it's cat food. I have a stray cat, another stray cat. Turkey and giblet dinner. Nice, nice. It stinks. This is a nice color bowl right here. Very nice. Oh, I'm going to use that one for her. It looks like a cat feeding bowl. I haven't used it in a while. How long have you had this? God, 30 years maybe? Huh. Got it. Two of them. I had two. Got them at a yard sale. That's the only one I got left. But I figured that. You know, it's perfect for the cat. I'm going to run home for a minute. I got to get something. Oh, okay. Always something. Anything else wrong? No. All right, I got what I need. I did not want to alarm Rose, but there's a very good chance that old ceramic bowl that she has is radioactive. So let's go check it out. Yeah. Hello. All right, I got what I need. What is that? A Geiger counter. Oh. Actually, I have two of them. For it, why? It measures radiation. What? Wait a minute. <laughs> What's radiation? Like an atomic bomb goes off, you get radiation. Is that what? Fukushima, and that whole thing went, radiation. Oh my God. Chernobyl radiation, yeah, that's what it yeah. measures. What's that got to do with my bowl? Well, your bowl, if you look at the bottom of it, it says Fiesta, yeah. and it's, it's actually stamped into the ceramic material. That lets me know that's an older one. I know about this because years ago, I have a video where I made that Geiger counter, and I also made some other radiation testing devices. And I tested on a lot of different things. And I had a plate that was made by this company. And this plate right here is the exact same one. Fiesta, it's all lowercase and it's stamped. When it's stamped into the finish, that means it's really old. Okay. And then as time went by, some of them might have nothing on the bottom, just flat. And the Fiesta wear that was made later on, some of them have an ink stamp rather than have that indented. So anything before like World War II, yeah. they used to put uranium powder into the glaze on the bowl to enhance the color. That's why I got this beautiful red-orange color here. It, it, to enhance the color, believe it or not. It was, the things they did back then was absolutely crazy. But they put radioactive material in here. So it was like I don't know yet, I gotta check it, but I think it is because it looks like an old bowl. Anything between like 1930s and early 40s, it had it in it. The uranium yeah, yeah. and then during world war ii up to the late 50s there was no uranium used in the they didn't have this i don't think i don't even think this color existed they stopped making it because they didn't have the uranium powder to give it that nice color i could be wrong about that but the, if they did make it it didn't have the same shade of red and it wasn't radioactive but then they started using it again yeah. after 1959 they started using it for maybe another 10 12 years and people had these bowls that were radioactive so, so it's you're telling me that that thing's dangerous? It could be. I haven't checked it yet. Oh. So what I want to do is I want to put my Geiger counter on it. So let me get the thing out first. Okay. Should I bring the bowl? Yeah, bring the bowl. Let me take this one out first. Put the bowl over here. What I want to do first is just get a background reading. So push this all the way up to the side. All right. So let this sit a minute. Just let it sit right over here, right? So you're serious? Of course I'm serious. All right. So now this is just checking normal background radiation. Let it sit for about a minute. 
Okay, we waited about a minute and we're around 0 0.14, 0 0.15 microsieverts. That's normal background radiation. So if I take this and I put it on the bowl, if that bowl is radioactive, this is definitely gonna respond. So let me take this bowl, let's put it here. Oh, that don't sound good. It's not good, it is radioactive. It is. Very radioactive. Should Listen we, to that thing go. Should we throw it out? No, I love stuff like this. I'll keep it, don't throw it out. Seriously? We gotta realize, with radioactive stuff like this, distance is like your best friend. So if, as long as you're like a couple of feet away from it, you're not gonna get that much exposure. If you're holding it in your hand all the time, yeah. or if you're sleeping with it right like next to your pillow, yeah, then you can have a problem. So but I'm this is really high, wacky. this is very high. Look at that. We went from 0.15 microsievert, now we're up to, it's still climbing. It's gonna head probably what, 24, 25? So I'm not gonna glow? <laughs> Unless, the only way you're gonna glow is if you ate part of the glaze from this bowl, which the glaze looks intact. Okay. No, so this is definitely radioactive. 24 microsieverts. Oh yeah. All right, let me take out the other one I got. This is the one that I made. It is a pretty bowl, but it's so stupid that they did that. But you I know what? I can't believe they did that. Back then, you gotta realize, they didn't know too much about the hazard of radioactive elements, uranium and radium and stuff, but they were so stupid. They took radium, all right, which is another radioactive element, and they put it in people's toothpaste. No. They put, yeah, they sure did. They put it in people's lotion for their skin. They said it'll make you have a nice glow. They were stupid what they did. They put it in people's makeup. And the worst of all, you remember years ago they had those radioactive clocks? The numbers glowed all night oh, long. I remember those. You could see the hands on the clock, they were glowing on. We had one. That's radioactive. What they did no. is they had a bunch of young women, they called them the radium girls, and they took a paintbrush and they hand painted radium paint on the, no. the watch hands and the numbers to make it glow. And the bad thing is the company they worked for, they didn't tell them it was dangerous. So they kept telling them to when you go to paint, to have a nice fine point on your brush to put it in your mouth and lick the tip like you would do it like if you're an artist to get a nice fine point. Right. Needless to say, those girls didn't last too long. Ooh. They got cancer of the bones, they got uh, lung cancer, they got, I mean, they fell apart. They had like two, three hundred girls working for them and little by little they were all dying. Well, I used to eat yogurt out of that. Am I in danger? Eh, how often did you do it? Once in a while? It's not going to bother you. I haven't done it in a while. Eh, I mean, it's... You would actually have to hold this in your hand tight like this all the time. Yeah. Or like sleep with it, like I said, under your pillow all the time wow. to get a lot of exposure. And you got to remember, like at two feet away, there's really no exposure. So if you had this in a cupboard and you never touched it, it's not going to bother you. It's too oh far from God. you. It's been here for 30, over 30 years. So let me just try this over here. This, this is the Geiger counter that I made right here in another video when I was living in the Bahamas. So let's turn this on. Let's put this way to the side. All right, this is gonna measure background radiation. All right, you see the large tube right here? Yeah. This large tube is intended for areas of radiation that are weaker, so it's more sensitive. And then there's another tube I built inside. This one's for areas where there's a lot of radiation. Okay. So the one I'm using right now is the low on this side. So this would be between 30 and 40 counts per minute if there's a normal environment with no radiation around. So if I bring this near the bowl, see it's picking up right now, now it's picking up. So that stays active forever? Yeah, it's never gonna go anywhere. It's not gonna go anywhere? We'll be long gone before it goes anywhere. Oh my gosh, look at that, that's, that's scary. This thing's going so fast, the counter can't even keep up with it. <laughs> it's going so fast. So uh, you definitely have a radioactive bowl here. I don't want that. I don't want it here. Can I'll you take, take it. it. I'll take it. I'll take it. And you were going to feed the cat out of this? How long? Wait, you've been feeding the cat out of this. About a week now. Oh, my God. That little cat's head <laughs> is in this bowl with that radiation on its face for the last week. 
What about me eating out of it? Well, can you, you check you, me to see if I'm radioactive? No, you'd have to eat the stuff. You'd have to have you the have glaze. Have. The glaze would have to come off this bowl. You'd have to ingest it. Okay. And then even if you did, it would go through your system and it would go right out. So you're not going to be radioactive. I mean, there could have been damage done. Yeah, possibly, but I doubt it. Yeah. I mean, what'd you do? You didn't hold it next to your face when you were eating. Yeah, I, I ain't doing it now. What'd you do before? How'd you eat? I used to just... Shovel it in in front of your mouth? Yeah. Why not? Why? <laughs> no, I think you'd be right. And when did they stop using it, do you know? They stopped using it, I think, maybe around 1970. But this wasn't the only yeah, company. I used to put a lot of makeup on. No, no, no. That was many, many years ago. In the 20s and 30s, I think they used the radium makeup and stuff. That was oh, stupid. Oh, okay. So but, I'm safe. Yeah, you're safe at that. But this right here, I mean, it's crazy that they actually put that in the glaze like that. I have, because I collect stuff like this. Okay. I have a uranium bracelet. I got some other stuff. And some other things that you're going to know from years ago. Let me go get it and bring it back because okay. I want to show you. But I can tell you right now, this is way hotter yeah. radioactive-wise compared to everything else I have. Well, can you take it now? All right, I'll take it with me. And there's the cat that was going to be eating out of the radioactive bowl, a beautiful white kitty cat. That's Opal. See the cats eating out of the white bowl outside? Oh, no, that's, that's not the cat. What do you mean? How many cats are you feeding? I thought you were feeding just four. two. No, I have four. The orange bowl goes to the side of the house. Oh, uh, all spray. right. I thought the white cat got them, the... No, I keep them separate. I thought you were feeding the white cat. Now, check this out right here. This bowl right here is uranium glass. Of course, there's uranium inside this glass. Okay. The same stuff that's in the glaze of that bowl. But I can tell you right now, this is weak compared to the Fiesta bowl. Okay. And if you put UV light on this at night in a room that's perfectly dark, the whole thing glows. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm, I'll probably put it in the video just to show them what it looks like. So let me turn this back on. Wow. Let's place it in here. You see it's speeding up? Let me see what it goes up to. So you're now 74, 75. And the radioactivity can vary a little bit on the sample because there might be a little bit more of the uranium powder here than over here. Uh -huh. See, right now it's going towards 90. I think this tops out around one microsievert. But just to show you, that it's they use it in a lot of different things. Wow. And this is the Great Depression era. So now let me get rid of this. Definitely got more games. I got more stuff in here that you're going to like. Now right here, I got a beautiful bracelet for you, Rose. No, wait. <laughs> no, I don't want it. Is, sure? it, is it's, it dangerous? It's beautiful, isn't it? Take a look at the color. That should tell you something. Oh my God, it's the same color. All right, this is a uranium glass bracelet. No. Yep. So basically, see? When did they make that? Well, they make the beads and then you string them together. Now? Even now? No, well, you can still buy them on eBay, but yeah. See, this is going up. This is not high either. This is gonna be very similar to this bowl oh, over here. Wow. And if I put the other Geiger counter on, it'll, you'll appreciate it more. All right, so let's try this one. Oh, wow. Look at that, it's going crazy. You see that, so you know that right there. That's radioactive. Now you remember these? You know the tubes in the television sets and oh, sound systems? yeah, I had, we had them. We and had you used them. to take them to the store and you plug them in the socket and there was yeah. all those boxes lined up and yeah. you, it, was a uh, it was a tube tester. Let's go with my dad. Yep, when I was a little kid, I think I went like at the end when they stopped using them, like in the late 70s, I think they had them. But if you open this up, let me see how... I actually had a TV that had those in it. All right, so I'm going to open this right here. And just to show you, this has radium in it. Remember I told you those girls were painting with radium? Yeah. All right, yeah. so inside here, there's radium. So if I place it against here, you're going to see it speed up. See? There's not a lot in it, but there's, there's a good amount. Was it all the tubes that were in no, the not all. No, 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 not all of them. Certain ones. This one here is a, I think it's a 226. What does it say? No, it's a 423A. But there's radioactivity to that. Wow. And 
over here. You remember these? When you used to go camping, you put them on the gas lantern. Oh, yes. We used to go camping a lot. All right, and this is the mantle. So what happens, the gas goes in here and it heats up and it glows. Yeah. These are radioactive. No, get yeah. out of here. Yeah, watch. Oh my God, look at that. Oh. The ones they have now are non-radioactive. And when did they stop making them? Oh, I, these probably came from the 70s and 80s. Wow. But you see, I pulled it away and it stopped. That's weird. So it was a very interesting day. I came over to your house. I find a radioactive bowl. And you had a good education on radioactive things that existed going way back to the 20s and 30s. I never knew that. Never knew that. That's amazing. Am I radioactive now? Yeah, your new name is Radioactive Rose. You can take that with you too. <laughs> okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video.